New efforts to address a major shortage of health care workers here in Tennessee. It's a troubling trend that has medical professionals and schools here in the state really scrambling to try to find a solution. Yeah, our Tony Sloan joins us live at Vanderbilt Medical Center with the number. So, Tony, what kind of workers specifically are we talking about here and how many? Well, it's healthcare workers to be specific. And according to the Tennessee Hospital Association, the state was short 15,700 registered nurses in the back end of the pandemic. And it looks like we never really recovered since 2021. And the research shows it's a problem that's hitting both sides of the medical field. There's trouble retaining those in the workforce and also issues getting new workers into the field. Now, this can make all the difference of what kind of care you will receive when you're going in for that checkup or maybe faced with an emergency. Schools like Vanderbilt Medical Center and Tennessee State University says something needs to be done to address the need. They say economic struggles are causing problems for students, which may lead to them not graduating. And other times they prevent people from starting health education in the first place. Hospital administrators also report struggling to get staff to stay because of the low pay for long hours during those unpopular shifts and also high stress environments. These are big issues because the Hospital Association says Tennessee's demographics are changing. Between 2021 and 2035, overall population growth of 9.7% is projected. So that means growth and demand for health care services and personnel will be particularly high for health care delivery settings and occupations that predominantly serve an older population. Now, these schools hope something can be done to address the shortage. But this has been an uphill battle for the last four or five years.